What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be breaking down and reviewing Superman and Lois Season 1 Episode 13. But of course before we get started make sure that you guys like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications and comment any other video suggestions for me. So the episode starts with us getting a look at Morgan Edge locked up and him remembering training with his father as a young man. We get like a little bit of a flashback of you know how exactly Morgan Edge became the person that he was you know today. Then Superman questions Morgan Edge on, you know, where Edge's, Edge's assistant Leslie is, but of course Edge is stubborn and he also can't see or hear past the, uh, the lead walls, although he is still getting like these weird headaches from, I don't know, basically maybe they're like from his memories or something like that. Then Clark talks with John Irons, who is staying at the Kent farm, and while they are talking, they get an alert on where uh, to find Leslie and Superman, and Irons go and investigate what's going on. So Irons and Superman defeat Leslie with ease, and General Lane then says it's safe enough for them to get rid of all their kryptonite, besides the stash, of course, that is holding Edge and Leslie in their cells, as obviously both of them are Kryptonian, so kryptonite would obviously weaken them. Then we get another flashback scene of Edge training with his father and, you know, what his father wanted uh, Edge's master plan to be and all that stuff. Uh, I honestly thought that part was pretty interesting because it all led into him eventually becoming the Eradicator. So then Superman pays another visit to Edge and Edge keeps saying, didn't it feel good to let go and all of that, as obviously Superman was taken over by the essence of Zod last episode, which I didn't expect to happen at all. And it was pretty cool to, you know, get a Zod reference finally. Um, anyways, it seemed like Edge was, you know, sort of getting through to Superman as it looked like Superman was like questioning and doubting himself. But then Superman tells General Lane that they shouldn't destroy all the kryptonite as Superman is worried about if he were to ever go rogue again and if they, you know, didn't have any more kryptonite then that could be catastrophic. Obviously I think Superman here is preparing for what could happen if Edge did ever end up getting to him and, you know, Superman ended up turning bad once again. Then uh, Clark tells Lois why he thinks General Lane should keep the kryptonite that he has, but meanwhile Jonathan and Jordan both get in trouble as Jordan gets arrested and Jonathan ends up skipping school. Those are actually some pretty interesting storylines throughout the episode. Then Clark tells Lois that when Zod took him over, he felt, you know, what it was like to let go and it, he said it felt good and he said that feeling worries him and that's why he wanted General Lane to keep the kryptonite just in case. But then they don't, they decide they don't trust General Lane with that responsibility, so they decide to trust John Henry Irons with the responsibility of protecting the world from Superman, you know, by, you know, just saying if he were to ever go rogue once again, Henry Irons would use the kryptonite to stop him. Then we get another flashback of Edge becoming who he is and when he realizes that Superman is a hero and all of that. But then Edge, it seems like, connected to his powers somehow as he then escapes custody even with loads of kryptonite beating him down. Superman tries to locate Edge, however, he comes up with nothing. We then see where Edge is, and he is at the sun, absorbing its radiation, its solar energy, I should say. Um, and this is how he will become the Eradicator. That must have been how also he escaped um, uh, custody, even when he's getting beat up by kryptonite. Um, of course, because his father's plan for him was to become the Eradicator. So I guess that is how he uh, ended up escaping. And, you know, obviously now that is looking like he's going to be the main villain of the season not as much morgan edge as it is the eradicator which i think is going to be pretty cool to see in these next two episodes so yeah guys i think the eradicator is going to be a pretty good season one main villain for superman and lois um also in the comics the eradicator was also superman's brother which is actually pretty cool um that they're you know sort of staying comic book accurate on the show but anyways, I'd say that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment your thoughts on this video down below, as well as your thoughts on the episode. What'd you guys think of it? I thought it was pretty good. You know, this whole season of Superman and Lois, this whole first season has been very, very, very good. I'm um, really looking forward to the second season as well. We got the, the final two episodes coming up, although Superman and Lois is going on a bit of a break. Their next episode will not be until August 10th, which is also the same day that Stargirl first releases their first episode of season two. Um, I'll be breaking down both of those shows' new episodes, so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.